Scorpio. Welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly general message for October 2021. And without further ado, we're going to get right into your message. Now, this is not a love reading. No, it is not. But, but if love does, if love does come up, we will be sure to tap into that energy. All right, angels, what are the messages for lovely, lovely Scorpio? Come on, angels, what are the messages for Scorpio? Hmm, angels, we're looking for some joy. Yes, we are for Scorpio. Mm-hmm. And moving on to the dragons the dragons deck all right angels what are the messages for thank you thank you thank you and thank you for lovely hard working yes scorpio now we're going to add we're going to top this off yes we're ready to top off the message with the hummingbird deck thank you thank you and thank you thank you angels we're looking for some joy for lovely yes i like death divine scorpio you guys are so awesome okay so let's take a peek into your major theme for the month and that is the nine of cups the six of clubs goals the four of spades and the jack of spades so what that is telling me here is there's so much love around you so much love around you with the six of clubs i feel like there's so much love coming towards you it's constantly coming towards you this month you know i feel like this is something that you have been wanting for quite some time you've had to work for this love yes you've had but but not, not but and and with the jack of spades everything now has changed in your life i feel like for the better you're finally getting that love that you have wanted and it looks like from many not just one person but it looks like from the many okay now let's take a peek at your recent past you had the ace of wands reversed with the nine of hearts yes gratitude two of hearts and the three of diamonds so i feel like in the recent past with the ace of wands i feel like wow it's it's interesting so you're waiting for something you are really waiting for something to happen but i feel like with the nine of hearts it was definitely lagging it didn't happen but you know i see you in a way being grateful for that with the two of hearts there was someone around you with the three of diamonds that i feel like you know wait you fell in love you fell in love with your creative projects. You fell in love with your side hustles and things of that nature. So what, F, what, what didn't come your way that you had been waiting for, it feels like in the recent past, you were okay because there was something else you really, really, really loved, okay? All right, now let's take a peek in the middle of the month. We have the three, the three of cups reversed with the king of clubs, diversify nine of hearts and the two of diamonds so i feel like with the three of cups reversed there's there's you know in the middle of the month it seems a bit i feel like it seems a bit daunting it doesn't feel like there's reason to celebrate you have a lot to do and i feel like you have a lot of things to secure in your life secure your love secure your um work your money your health and you will you will do it but you'll do it your way the nine of hearts and the two of diamonds i feel like I feel like you are giving and giving and giving into, I feel like it's a financial project or a job or something of that nature. I feel you're just working and you're like, I want to celebrate door, but I can't because I got to work. I have to secure my bag. I have to do this. I have to do that. And all I do is work, work, work. Now, some of you, some of you are deciding that because this is a general message, some of you are deciding to let go of that financial job or financial opportunity because, because, because it's so much work, okay? All right, now, 
Let's take a peek at the end of the month. You have the Three of Swords with the Joker. Yes, Opinions. Eight of Hearts and the Six of Diamonds. So I feel like by the end of the month, there is something that you are worrying about. You are worrying sick about this. With the Joker, this was something that, yes, it feels like you've been worrying about it for a long time, but there's something that comes up. And I feel like what's coming up is your own opinions in regard to this worry. And I feel like you want to overcome this. You definitely want to overcome this and be on the top of it. Stay on the top of this. So if someone in the past hurt you or someone's hurting you, you didn't expect this. You really didn't expect this. But I see that you're judging this person or this job. You're judging it and you're trying to take control of the situation and remain in control of the situation because you don't want to be hurt. No, so you're taking your power back. Nobody's gonna hurt, nobody's putting baby in the corner, okay? That's what I'm picking up here. Now let's take a peek at your bonus. You have the six, the six of wands reversed with the nine of pentacles reversed, the three of diamonds, boundaries, ace of diamonds, that makes sense, and the king of clubs. So I'm feeling like, yes, once again, there is. The reason to celebrate is not there. You're feeling like you are, it's like you're in a state of lack. Like there's, you're worried. I feel like you're worried about, I feel like you're worried about money. I definitely feel like you're worried about money. With the boundaries, I feel like it's time to set boundaries when it comes to, there is a new financial opportunity for you. But in this new opportunity, whatever happened in the past situation, you're not going to carry it into the new. You're setting boundaries with the king of clubs. I see that you will get your needs met. You will be fulfilled financially. You will be fulfilled emotionally, spiritually, things of that nature. Because you're not going to redo. You're not going to, um, you know, sometimes, sometimes things come into our life, people jobs, places, houses, things of that nature. Come, they come into our lives to teach us a lesson. And if we learn the lesson, if we learn the lesson, when we move forward, we won't drag that lesson into that new opportunity. So let's say it's a job that you had in the past and, and you tend to have gotten um, overlooked for promotion, but yet you trained all the people that were managers. Or let's say it was you were in a relationship and that person really didn't want to you know, move in or get married or have kids or whatever it was. And that really hurt you. Well, in the new opportunity with a new relationship or job, that's not something that you're going to wait for. That's not something you're going to hold on to. Immediately, you're going to say, no, this is my boundary moving forward with the new job, with a new house and a new relationship. I'm not taking that with me. This time around, I'm setting boundaries and I'm holding those boundaries. Okay. So, don't forget, there's still a lot of love around you, but there's also an opportunity to rise up past, past all of your, yes, you are waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Will I get promoted? Will I move in? Will we get married? Will we? Yeah, yeah, you're past that. The new opportunities that are coming in, yeah, you're not accepting any of that this month. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.